Hi guys, Ben at Carbo Creations. Recently I got my hands on a bunch of different filaments from Tall of 3D Australia. What I thought I'd do is run it through my ANET A8 uh, just to see how they perform and the differences between the filaments. So uh, stick around and let's see what happens. This video is sponsored by Tall 3D Australia, your one-stop shop for an extensive range of cost-effective, high-quality 3D filaments. Their extensive range includes PLA, ABS, PETG, TPU, wood, metal and silk in both 1.75mm and 3mm diameters. They also sell premium Duraplat coated nozzles for a range of extruders and are supplies of BuildTac, which provides an optimal printing surface that allows for a clean and easy removal of completed builds. When you need consistent performance, finished prints and filaments at a realistic price, Torwell filaments fit the bill. Visit www.torwell3d.com.au today. So I've got about eight different filament types I'm going to play with. I do have a couple of others that I'm going to save for a rainy day. But what we're going to look at on the ANET A8 is uh, some ABS. Uh, this one is a carbon fibre filament, which is a PLA base. Uh, we've got some wood uh, filament here, which is also a PLA base. Um, some TPE filament or the flex uh, type material. Uh, we have some brass metal filament, some PETG. I also have some colour changing PLA uh, on my ANET A8 right now. And I also have some silk that's on my CR10 as well. So I thought I'd start by printing off a 20 by 20 millimeter uh, calibration cube with each of the filaments. This is just to dial in the settings for each type of filament. As you know, each filament has a different melting point, may require different speeds to print and a couple of other different settings, uh, including bed temperatures. Once I've managed to dial in each setting, I found a model on my mini factory of a little Rick from Rick and Morty rocking out. Now this model was used some time ago in a competition to see how small people could uh, print him off, but I'm actually going to print him off at a, a decent height and sort of use him as my benchmark instead of Benchy. Uh, just for something different and just something for a bit of fun. So the print conditions I'm going to set for myself uh, for this filament test, I'm going to be using my A8 with a build tack surface and a 0.4mm nozzle. I'm going to be printing the calibration cube and the little rig and I'm slicing all the models using Simplify 3D. I managed to dial in the settings for each filament pretty quickly and managed to get off a calibration cube uh, pretty quick to allow me to move on to the little rig. These are the print settings I've used. Uh, I would certainly use them as a base starting point if you have any of these filament types. There will be some play depending on the brand, but for the Torwell filaments, uh, these settings worked fantastic. The only filament I did have a lot of trouble with was the TPE or Flex. Uh, the filament kept getting uh, bound up in the extrusion gears. I did get really close on one print as you can see here, but unfortunately the nozzle hit the top, knocked over the little rig, and I woke up in the morning to spaghetti. Luckily, the rest of the filaments went off without a hitch. That was a lot of fun guys testing these different filaments. Coming from having only printed PLA before, it was a pretty steep learning curve with some of these different filaments. Um, as I stated with the flex filament, I still haven't been successful yet because I constantly got the filament jammed up in the extrusion gears. Um, I also had some trouble with the wood filament, but the guys at Torwell 3D were fantastic in helping me troubleshoot these uh, problems and managed to get me a, a result that I was after, which was fantastic. Uh, out of this, I actually came away, still PLA is the easiest to print with, but I'm a big fan of the PETG and the ABS as well. 
So after doing all this testing, I've got to say I'm a big fan of Tall Oil 3D filaments. Um, they're really good bang for buck filament, good high quality. Uh, most of these filaments I had no issues printing at all. I uh, was able just to quickly dial in some settings and I was off. Uh, for those I did have trouble with, I got in contact with the guys at Tall Oil, as I said before, and they helped me out straight away and I ended up getting a good quality print in the end I was happy with as well. So from here, I'm gonna do a uh, deeper dive into each type of uh, filament type over the next couple of months, breaking down uh, their pros, their cons, uh, what they're made out of, and uh, the most common applications for each material type. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, uh, please do so. I've got uh, material coming out all the time. You can follow me on all my social media at Carbo Creations, being uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you around.